All right, it's the tour bus final of the Rocky Newton Nationwide and Coast to Coast. Ralph Sutton, Stacy X. Stacy, not here. We are in the studio at uh, DHR flagship station with two of the guys from Europe who are in town for like a week's worth of shows in the local area, right? That's right. Tell yeah. me about, I know you did BB Kings. How was that? BB Kings sold out. Such a welcome. Come and play in New York is always great. We started in Los Angeles. We've been in the tour bus, went all across the nation. It's been, it's been a great time to rediscover America for us, you know? It is wild. I mean, the response has been huge, Joey. It's been a, yeah. a, a great feeling to see you guys again because there was rumors for a long time that you were going to be on the Poison Tour a while ago and then you were going to do another thing and nothing ever transpired and then we found out you guys were coming in. Yeah, we're doing our own thing. We didn't want to, we, we, we were careful choosing packages so we're doing our own thing now and then we'll see how we can come back. We should definitely want to come back, you know. Right, that'd be nice. And we mm. were talking about the lineup. It is the, the full final countdown lineup, yes, right? Yes, indeed. And we've all known each other since teenage years. I met John Orr when I was 14, 15. We started the band and then the other guys followed. We used to go to concerts together Together, Deep Purple, White Snake, right. uh, Thin Lizzy, you know, and had our dreams to become a rock band. Now know? there was a, a different inception with the first uh, Europe records, right? Now, what was the change from that to the final countdown? Just to fill our listeners in. Well, we just we were just kids. We were sort of first album we recorded when we were 18, 19 years old, touring locally and starting to get recognition in Scandinavia. But then it started getting serious with the third album. We got signed to New York, CBS, and Ian came in the band, and Mick was in the band. Yeah, then then it then it was for real. You right. Know? Then he knew it was. Uh, yeah, this the is our job. This <laughs> is our job. Also, I think the the hi, I'm Ian, by the way. Um, <laughs> also, the the songwriting was a bit changed during the 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 final countdown process, wasn't it? More yeah. like keyboard oriented, we, maybe. Uh, we introduced keyboards a little bit more. Uh, I borrowed a keyboard in college, actually, from Mick, that later became a member of the band, and I was intrigued. That's how I came up with final countdown too. Oh, really? Because there's a few bands that I've heard around, like Aha would take on me and Jump with Van Halen. It's like, yeah, they come on, that's kind of anthony. We could try something like that, you know. So and you just, just one day, did it? No, I had that from college. I, I, I really? borrowed my first keyboard when I was in college, and I came up with that, and I kept it in the the drawer for years. Wow, really? And when we did the third album, then then we just. Did. Now I remember when you were on the show with us, uh, geez, about a year ago, when your solo record came out. You said at that time that the uh, final countdown riff, that piano keyboard thing, was one of the most downloaded ringtones of all time, correct? Yeah, I, I mean, somebody told me that. I don't know if it's true, but people seem to use it. I hear it, it all the time in yeah. subways and stuff, so I imagine <laughs> yeah. it's true. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, we hear it everywhere. It's it's really funny. But for us, it was a rock song. It was meant to be an opening for the show, really. Yeah. We, we never really had a thought it would be a hit or anything. It was a rock song, you know. Let me ask you about this, just regarding that song, then we'll move on. But that song is played at, like, every sporting event, everything, you know, any sort of, like, big event. You always hear that song in the background. Mm -hmm. Do you guys get money for that? We we'll get some, but you know it's. Uh, you do get something though. Yeah, we do get something. Uh, it's but as I said, it was it, it's a rock song for us, and when we play it live, we don't rehearse it really. <laughs> we, <laughs> we know it, but we do play it live, and it, it's because it, it, the communication with the audience is fantastic. Yeah, know, the it's response is it's fantastic. Yeah, well, that record was a phenomenal yeah. record. I mean, geez, every song on that record was a great song. But well, um, thank you. Let's talk about the new record. Yes. It's not out yet in the States, unfortunately, but is there plans for it to be released? June 7th. June 7th? It will be in stores, yeah. Through what label? The label's called Friday Music, and uh, it'll be out in June, and we're working on a DVD as well for the first time, mm -hmm. which will come out in August, we hope, and so, and hopefully we can come back in tour as well. That'd be nice, and the first single that we were playing off that record is Gotta Have Faith. Is that That's like probably the... We've used that. It's a good statement for the record. You know, we've used that as a single over in Europe. We've been on the road there for a year now. We used that song. And, uh, yeah, it's a good introduction, you know. It's a great song. Yeah. yeah. And, and give us the website. It's, is it Europe the Band or it's... EuropeTheBand.com. Right. See, I knew right. that. I do my research every once in a while. Not <laughs> yeah. often, but every once in a while. So you know what the new album is going to be called? It's uh, Star from the Dark, is that what it is? Well done there. Well Look done. Look at that. So you think I don't know my stuff. <laughs> I know my stuff. I had to download the CD illegally because oh I couldn't God. get it in the country. But I do have it. At least we got to play don't it on the air. Don't try that at home. Don't sell it. Don't sell it on eBay, please. No, no, no. Of course not. But uh, I just wanted I wanted our listeners, you know, we're nationwide on 60 stations. That's great. I wanted people to know you guys had to it. Happy. All right, it is the tour bus following the Rocky Need Nationwide and Coast to Coast. That is the new song, Stacy, And I like it a lot. The new CD, not out yet. As he said, it's coming out um, on the 7th of June is what he said. I don't even listen to the interview. Is that what he said? All right, now, Stacy, this is segment two. We talk mm -hmm. a little bit about a story that I had heard a long time ago, and I didn't know if it was true or not. I finally get to ask him if it was true, and that is was very, very cool to find out that it's actually true and a phenomenal in-studio performance of I can't believe he did it he did carry acoustic you'd think that would be the last song he'd want to perform live you know 
I haven't heard it in like 20 years. Yeah, so and he did I'm, a, I'm pretty psyched. He did like a, a down tuned version of it, but it's very cool. You'll hear it. It's here's a segment two with Europe on the tour bus. Let me ask you one other question. You guys got uh, paid a duty load of money to reunite for the millennium. You did that one show for New Year's Eve, right? It was like yeah. an untold amount of money, whatever. I'm not going to say exactly how much, <laughs> I don't know, but a lot of money. Now, I read this, and maybe this is one of those urban myths, and please just end it now if it is, or tell me if it isn't, that they re-released the single, uh, the millennium version of uh, The Final Countdown. Is that part true? Th there was a record company did put out a version of Final Countdown. Yeah. Okay, because then I was told, this was online for a while, and then it was gone, so I don't know yeah. if it was true or not, that it said The Final Countdown but it missed. It was a misprint that missed the all important O. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Absolutely. Well, this was happening in England, and uh, we did all the press and everything in England. And it's it's supposedly it's true. It came. Yeah. Do you have any? Because if you don't know, have a copy of it, copy. I don't know. Oh, you have a copy. There is a copy in England. Uh, the record company showed me it. You know, they they came to me and said, yeah, "Sorry, Joe. You know, they printed <laughs> thousands of these, and so we had great. to wait another day because they're going to have to reprint it." That's <laughs> <Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> that is a great story. Okay, yeah. so it's Europetheband.com. The new album is Star from the Dark. Yeah. It's a great record. I'm glad you guys are here. I can't wait for you to come back for like a full fledged, you know, ton ton of city tour. Oh yeah. That oh, would yeah. be great. Be great. And um, what are we going to have you perform in studio? Maybe just. You know, there's something from uh, the the past, maybe uh, a slash of, of Carrie or something. Okay, great. Well, yeah, I'll whatever. let you take it away. Now, from live in the tour bus studios. When lights go down, I see no reason for you to cry. We've been through this before in every time. In every season, God knows I've tried, so please don't ask for more, can't you see it in my eyes, this might be our last goodbye. Put that in the end. It really bothered me. I don't know why I didn't do that. But that is a great version. Stace, isn't that cool? 
Yeah, that was very cool. Isn't that cool? It was really nice, man. Good guys. Uh, EuropeTheBand.com. Their new CD uh, coming out June 7th. It's called Start 